You might or might not care about marijuana, but I'll bet you care about the crime in your community. And an announcement this week from the California Department of Cannabis Control, it caught our eye. So I want to go ahead and bring in Becca Hobbegger here because, Becca, this is the State Department that really oversees California's legal marijuana industry, right? Yeah, Alex, you know, and, and just this week they told us they're launching what they say is a program that's first of its kind in the nation. It's a $20 million grant program that will pay California cities and counties to open up legal weed sales. In other words, if the city or unincorporated part of the county where you live currently doesn't allow legal cannabis retail stores or delivery services, the state wants to change that. And they say crime is a driving factor. The illegal market was and continues to be swath in criminal activity. That's now former Alameda County District Attorney Nancy O'Malley speaking at a press conference last year about how the illegal market is helping to fuel crime. And yet in many parts of California, the illegal market is the only place many people can buy cannabis. Even though the legal marketplace launched five years ago, nearly two thirds of California's cities and counties do not allow any retail, whether a storefront dispensary or delivery service. That's because state law allows local governments to opt out of allowing cannabis businesses. Businesses. In fact, the California Department of Cannabis Control says Placer, San Joaquin, Amador, Yuba, and Sutter are among 18 California counties where the proportion of licensed cannabis retail outlets is low compared to its share of consumer consumption. That's why the state is giving them priority if any local governments there apply for this new local jurisdiction retail access grant program, saying lack of access to California's legal cannabis marketplace threatens consumer safety and perpetuates the illegal market. And take a look for yourself on the Department of Cannabis Control's website is this map. In San Joaquin County, the unincorporated county allows just delivery, Lathrop allows just storefronts, and Stockton and Tracy allow both. The rest of the cities allow no retail. In Placer County, only Colfax allows sales. And here's a look at Yuba, Sutter, and Amador counties. Now, only cities and counties that don't currently allow any retail are eligible to apply for their share of this $20 million in grant funding. And let's be clear, more cannabis retailers, that does mean more money for the state, right? Oh, for sure. This is not, this isn't not about money. This um, isn't not about no, money. Yeah. <laughs> but in this case, the state says the money that's not going to legal retailers and yes, the state coffers in the form of high taxes on the legal market is instead going into an illegal market that they say is fueling crime and other problems. All right, Becca. So I guess we'll see if legal sales lead to that decrease in the crime that the state is predicting. Mm -hmm. We'll have to keep following.